morning, how are we all? I hope you're all well, I hope you're all safe. Welcome back to another day in my life. Oh yeah, it's vlogging time. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite excited about this one. Um, I feel like we just need a really big declutter of the flat. Our home isn't like messy or untidy. It's not really like unorganized. I feel like there's just, we've, we've got a lot of stuff and I feel like there is some shedding to be done. I was looking at like the pantry cupboard in the kitchen and I was just like, this just needs a rearrange, a rearrange, a light streamlining. So I'm gonna take you along for that ride. So come and organize with me. Um, but I thought I would share with you my outfit first. I wanted to be as comfortable as possible. I'm gonna be on my knees, I'm gonna be on the floor, I'm gonna be like getting round into all the cupboards. So I just wanted to wear like an adult romper suit really. Uh, so yeah, we're doing the boiler suit today. Uh, this is from Topshop either last year or the year before, cannot remember. It's no longer in stock, but I'm not gonna lie, and other stories have I think a workwear boiler suit thing that I actually prefer. It's not so zippy, it's more like a button up, um, but it's like a similar shape, similar style. So I will link that one down below for you. And I've just got my Aviana flip flops on. Um, but yeah, this is just super comfy. I can crouch down, I can get involved, <laughs> I can declutter. Before I get started, I have a few things that I wanna do on my laptop though. And actually, it's very exciting. The date when I'm filming this video is Wednesday the 1st of July. And from the 4th of July in England, you can have one other household in your home um, as long as they are socially distancing. Um, which is kind of perfect timing because it's one of my best friend's birthdays on Sunday. And um, yeah, we've invited them around. We feel like the flat is big enough that we can like keep distance and open the windows and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's her 30th birthday, so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what I've got for Sally. I'm really happy with this card. It says, have a cosmic birthday. I cannot remember where I got this card from, but Sally loves space. So I saw this card and thought of her. I'm basically turning into mum, like when I see cards, I think of people, I just buy them. I'm like, it's gonna be their birthday at some point in the next 12 months, so I'm just gonna get it. And I've been hanging on to this one for a while. Waterstones gift voucher. She loves reading. I feel like everyone's gonna be getting her a Waterstones gift voucher, but very chuffed with that. And then I was picking up some more protein powder. Um, I spoke about it recently on my IG stories. It's the Form Nutrition. Oh, what is it called? Let me check my own Instagram stories. I can't be bothered to stand up. They're Super Blend Protein. Um, so it's a vegan protein powder. I think it's available in chocolate, sorted caramel or vanilla. I have the vanilla and I really, really like it. It is quite sweet, personally, I don't mind that. Um, but it's not grainy, like so many other vegan proteins that I have tried. And I just like put it into my smoothie in the morning, extra protein, tastes good, makes everything taste vanilla -y. I'm super into it. So I was buying some extra bags of that. I get it from N Naturissimo, I think that's how you say it. So I'm having to really like crouch down to keep in the frame here. And um, I thought I'd pick up this candle for Sally off of there. It's made in England, it's called Scent but like scent with an S and it is the be happy candle and it is grapefruit lemon myrtle myrtle yeah myrtle and spearmint uplifting treatment candle and it's like a little mini travel size and all of the packaging is recyclable and I think she really like this she loves a good candle so if you need a gift for someone definitely something to check out would it be an Anna Reddit vlog without there being a laptop time lapse no <laughs> went out and did the food shop and I just put everything away and actually we've already got to lunch time <laughs> like where where has the morning gone so I'm keeping my eyes on something behind me to make sure that it doesn't boil over um we've been a bit like slack with the meal planning this week last night we had patty and bun <gasps> it was so good the chips were so salty that I actually woke up in the middle of the night like gasping for a drink polished off my drink then got up tiptoed around to the other side of the Mark's drink as well. Oh my word, I woke up so, so, so thirsty. So this morning I got up, I wrote a list, Mark went out. We've got our meal plan for the week. No takeaways, 
only nourishment um, and today I thought we'd have like a fruity salad for lunch like I love a salad that's got a bit of fruit in it a bit of sweetness with a bit more vegetables, I'm into it. And actually this is a Waitrose and Partners recipe, not sponsored. Just happened to do that thing where I like enabled myself and ended up on their website looking at recipes. And this is a cauliflower, peach and farro salad. Um, farro is like a grain. Um, I think actually on the packaging in Waitrose it's called Italian spelt. Um, so I'm just cooking that up now. So I've got that cooking. I sliced up my peaches. This is the sauce and it's got well, like a bit of everything in it really. It's got tahini, soy sauce, uh, mint, parsley, garlic, red wine vinegar, Dijon mustard, and a little bit of water and olive oil just to like thin it out. It, it actually smells and tastes incredible. And then I've toasted up some flaked almonds to go in it. And then I've just got the cauliflower in here. How long have I got left? Ooh, two mints. So there you go. That is the finished salad with the toasted almonds on top. Um, this is definitely an improvement on yesterday's lunch, which was scrambled eggs on toast. To be fair though, both equally, both equally delicious. I feel like there could be more decluttering. This could be a part one of, I don't want to think about how many. Also, if you hear the farty sound, it's the dishwasher, it's not me. Literally, <laughs> it knew, it knew I was talking about it. Um, but I think with this video, and I'm gonna start my decluttering in the kitchen and just focus on here. Um, I kind of always go through like my bathroom bits, like my skincare bits in there. I sort of did a rough go through of my makeup a couple of weeks ago. There's not much in our bedroom aside from our clothing. And then in the living room, again, there's, there's not really that much. The loft is, is another issue. We'll get to that another day, but I think doing the kitchen today is a good use of my time. I can kind of clean and just clear up as we go. Mark has a load of like home brewing stuff in here that takes up quite a lot of space. And he has admitted after three years of not using it that he's gonna try and sell it on like Facebook Marketplace or something. So that could free up some space. I'm gonna start off in the corner. So I'm gonna start off with this. Whoa, <laughs> let's find never open anything. Wrote a book about organization, look at that. But I don't know if you can see it if I take out the funnel. Yeah, there is an absolutely gigantic pan in the back. So we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna start here, go down, and then we will work our way through all of these and then finish off here. Sorry, that probably made you feel rather ill. And just finish off and go through this bit. And here is the after much better can like grab everything we need really really quickly so out of there we've got all of this beer brewing stuff that we're going to see if we can sell and then just these glasses which i think we've used once in the five years that we've lived here also like a courgette thing i, I feel like these are one of those things i get a bit obsessed with use it loads and then like don't use it for about three years it's been about three years since i used it um so we're going to see if we can just take these bits to a charity shop so this one under here, I feel like I could kind of tidy it up and clean it a little bit, but this just has, oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> Wanna look at it from the side. This has all of our like baking bits, kind of roasting tins, our grater, our bowls, our sieves, our weighing scales. Like there's a lot in here, but we use this a lot. We use most of the things in here quite often, but I'm just gonna double check. Here you go. Here's the after. It looks the same. I only got rid of two things, which were these two silicon um, loaf tins. I've just discovered that silicon loaf tins just don't work for me. Um, they obviously like don't conduct the heat in the same way. So whenever I use these, I end up with a really like weird loaf that's kind of burnt on the outside, not cooked on the inside. Um, so I'm just gonna stick with my metal one for now. And then these baking sheets, I guess I make like mince pies in them and like tarts and stuff in them. I'm gonna pop those. With the rest of the baking sheets, they were kind of in the wrong place. So now we're tackling the pantry cupboard, uh, which is brimming. And I mean, it's organized mess. I know where things are. Um, but it could definitely do with a tidy up. And we keep doing that thing where we're like, oh, we haven't got caster sugar. Oh wait, we have, you see? Two caster sugars. Um, so yeah, I think we just need to have a bit of a clear up here. I might actually pop you here. This could be a good one. Good one sped up. There you go that is the official after i mean there's a lot 
there is a lot of stuff in it. Um, this has like all of our tinned goods, some snacky bits, any kind of like grains, pasta, that kind of thing. Also like all my vitamins are in the corner. We have like a bread section, a sweet snack section, all of our baking stuff. So there's a lot that goes in here, but I can very easily like find everything now. I feel like we did a bit of clearing out. We kind of collated some of the same things. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with that. Our spice cabinet never gets too bad, mainly because of these Lazy Seasons, which are just everything. I'll link these down below for you. They are like best thing I've ever bought. But again, there's probably just a little bit of streamlining that can happen here. I had one random medjool date left, so I'm just stopping to make my favorite snack. You just cut open your medjool date. You take out the pit, if there was one in there, and then you put in just peanut butter, cashew butter, whatever type of nut butter you like. Personally, I love almond butter. There you go. This looks super random, but you get like a caramelliness from the date, and then you obviously get like the nut butter. It's like nature's Snickers. I feel like if Caroline heard me say that, she would roll her eyes, but it genuinely, to me it is. There you go. Filled up with salt and pepper as well, whilst I was at it. <laughs> Always feels like a good task to do. So these drawers are where our cutlery and our pots and pans and like big baking sheets, all those sorts of things live. So just to give you a little sneak peek. Um, yeah, everything in there is stuff we use. This is a very high traffic area. We use everything in there most days um this area is like things you put on top of toast and mark's coffee spot i'm not going anywhere near that that's all his in here are our glasses and then some spaghetti bowls up there pasta bowls <laughs> spaghetti bowls and then this is where we have our plates and bowls again um so that is all cleared out already kind of um but now we're gonna do <laughs> da, da, da. all of the alcohol <laughs> there's even more stuff down there. Um, so yeah, loads of this is actually remaining from my 30th birthday. So I'm gonna see if there's anything that we can offload. Look at this. This is so exciting. We have, we have space. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, were you filming? Yeah, what did you, what did you shout? Don't be a tea, bitch. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I had to have a little break. I was getting decluttering fatigue. Are you still here? Are you still watching? Maybe you just need to go have a couple of dates stuffed with almond butter too. Um, but we're back on the under sink storage. This actually was pretty tidy and I haven't got rid of anything. I'm really happy with how that looks. And then under here we have the dishwasher, which is no longer making farty noises. Um, I went through this. This is like kilner jars we're not using, a quality street tin that comes in really handy for if we're like taking, I don't know, a bake around someone's house and you don't want to take your best Tupperware, you can take this instead. Up here, more food containers, but these are all things that we use. I know there's a lot of them, but these are all things that we use very frequently. And then in here we have the fridge, freezer. Oh, this was the alcohol that we're getting rid of. That's freed up some space these both look really good and then in here this is where we keep all of our cleaning bits and bobs i have actually put a steamer in the charity pile this is the charity pile uh i had three steamers that is crazy talk this is the smallest one and kind of the crappiest one i'm um, so going to pass that on but now we have da -da -da, the corner so i'm just sorting through the cupboard that is next to the washing machine and i'm sure i'm not the only one but i have favorite tote bags this tote bag Beautiful, I love it. Weekend journals, it's one of my favorite. Oh, Millie. This one from Cezanne, I got this in New York. We love it, we use it every week for our shopping. What's this one? Cubits, oh, Mark loves his Cubits one. We keep that one as well. And then we've got a couple of bags for life, so I guess I will throw those near the top. Oh, look what tote bag I found. It's this one. Me and Lily um, had this tote bag as part of a collaboration that we did with L'Occitan and it has an illustration of Lily and I on the front. <laughs> and you know what? I'm gonna fold this up and I'm gonna give it to my grandma because my grandma has this tote and it's like her favorite tote. She uses it every time she goes to the shops and she keeps asking my mom if I can get another one. She's been asking for years. Here you go, grandma. You can have my one. She just loves it so much, bless her. But, oh, and of course you have to have the Ikea blue bag. You have to have this. I'm gonna pop this at the back, put this in front, and then that is that one done. It's time for the final cupboard. Oh no, <laughs> I left this one till last. Ooh, 
Yeah. <laughs> Although I have to say that my shit drawer section actually like is fine. I don't think it needs too much, but I think we're gonna get rid of the beer bottles because they were part of the beer making phase. <laughs> and I'm sure there's a few things we can pass on here. In fact, I already know from clearing out today, we already have champagne flutes. They're going to the charity shop. Oh my gosh, they're still in the box. So in that cupboard, I found some of our old Instax Polaroids, including this photo from the day we moved in. So some of these are like five years old. Like this is when we were redecorating the flat. It's like our friends come around on the first day. This is when we were like sitting on camping chairs and my grandparents first visit to the flat. Mark's parents, our friends Jamon and Katie. This was the first time we ever met Katie, Lily and Rich. This is my friend Nick. He helps me out still these days with the back end of my blog. And then Alana. That was when she came to visit, maybe like two years ago now. So yeah, more space for more. But yeah, very happy to pop those in an album because yeah, they've literally been sat there for five years. Paper chase is where I get these from. And here is the cleared out cupboard. And um, there are a few things that we need to take down to like the tip, you know, like used batteries. Mark had some like blades from his Stanley knife, old bulbs, that kind of thing. And yeah, just a little bit of a clear up. In fact, I just need to, whoop, that's driving me mad. But yeah, a little bit clearer than before. And then down here, we've just got the bits that Mark needs to put online. And uh, yeah, the end. So I kind of fell off the wagon with bar a bit. I think I don't think I've done a class for about two and a half weeks, three weeks. Ooh. I think where it got so hot, I, I just couldn't work out full stop. And obviously I've got the spin bike that I'm renting. So I kind of got into Peloton. So I was doing that. Then it got hot. I did nothing. And then this week it's Wednesday and I've done two Pelotons so far this week. And I'm like, right, okay, now it's Wednesday, it's time to do a Bod by Rod bar class on the Cycle Instagram, like. I was gonna say the good old days. <laughs> I mean, what we're talking like March, April, was two months ago. But I'm very excited because today I'm wearing my official Bod by Rod merch. It says, I'm a Bod by Rod. And there's a little illustration of him there. He's also got merch that says Bernie Bernie across the front. He's got mugs. I think he's got a towel as well, like different designs of t-shirts. And all of the profits from his merch line go to the Brain Tumor Charity. Um, Rod actually had a brain tumor 10 years ago and yeah every year he tries to do like a fundraising thing and to mark his 10 year anniversary of being cancer free he's brought out this merch oh just like such an all-round good guy so i feel like you've probably had enough time lapse option already for today's vlog so i will not put you through another time lapse and um, but yeah this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing my board by rod t-shirt these are lululemon trousers and today is a special pride class so i am buzzing this is gonna be so much fun rod i missed you so it turns out when you don't do bar for like three weeks it's really hard <laughs> when you do it again i am sweating i am shaking there was talk about like the bar shake I had the bar shake, like even in the warm up, my legs were like ooh, vibrating all over the place, which I think is a good thing. It's building up strength. I sweated, Rod is amazing, was amazing. Oh my God, it was so much fun. Lots of dance breaks and they raised so much money. It was for an LGBTQ plus fundraiser and I donated, loads of people donated. They raised over a thousand pounds. How awesome is that? Right, Mark is on dinner. Let's see what's going on in here. Hello. Hello. You alright? Ooh. Excuse me, what is on the menu tonight, sir? Uh, well, it's, you know, it's new ones on the menu. <laughs> yeah, you do. Uh, it's, uh, it's carrot fritters. Ooh. This is a Waitrose recipe, and you have it with, like, some grains on the side, some sugar snap peas. Healthy, healthy, man. Yeah, man. It's great, <laughs> isn't it? Look at that. That's the finished article. Um, we've actually had this dinner before. It's really good. I really like it. It's actually one of the recipes that I linked up on my blog as part of a piece of work that I did with Waitrose when I did like a best summer recipe roundup. I've been like slowly working my way through all of them and this one is one of our faves. So you've got some grains on the bottom, sugar snap peas. I think you're supposed to have it with um, like green string beans, but they're not my fave. So that's ziki and then you make these sweet corn. Not sweet corn. <laughs> Carrot fritters. And Mark is just gonna have half a tub of tzatziki and you know what? You go for it, go for it. it. I've just popped a spot, hence what is going on. 
down here and we just went for a little wander which is really nice did our little daily walk outside and now this awaits me oh yeah including more dates with almond butter in my squash tonight is a shaving night bring it on but hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the declutter it definitely felt long on my end i shouldn't have taken the break the break in the middle i lost momentum but it feels good to like open up every single cupboard in our kitchen and just be like oh when you open it now but i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and i'll see you soon bye